Pete, give me an update. I, I didn't get to experience what you guys experienced. Tell me about it. Man, we, we talked uh, with so many great people. Aaron Martins was just here with David Swinside. They brought a two pound glide bait. Two pound glide bait? Two pounds. It was as long as the table. Wow. It, and it looks like a trout. It's just, I don't know how you throw it, how you fish it, <laughs> but it's like, it's like throwing a two pound bass, That's you know? Awesome. And yeah. it doubles as a paperweight, <laughs> which is good. Dude, it would hold your stuff down in a hurricane. It's, right. it's huge. But uh, has this went on all week? The shenanigans? Here? No, okay. no, we haven't had. We see BTC over there playing in the in the pond. Yeah. But uh, um, we've had we've had we've talked to everybody. We talked about cash and fishing rods and and uh, you know how guys are sim simplifying that situation. Yeah. Um, all the new baits. One of the coolest stuff we talked about fishing line. We talked about uh, how one of our subscribers. Yeah. Saw a yeah. seminar about the importance of quiet flipping. Of one of our seminars. One of our seminars. Yeah. Brought that to a major line company and yeah. developed a line uh, that's 30% quieter. Based off of a seminar he saw at BU. Based off a seminar he saw at BU. Wow. Yeah. Now, are we going to get a royalty <laughs> off of that? I just want to know. No, we, we, we hadn't, <laughs> it hadn't been addressed. You know whose seminar it was? Want to guess? I'm going to say flipping Ish Monroe. Randall Tharp. Randy Tharp. Randall Tharp yeah. talked about the quiet, the importance of quiet, yeah. and uh, you know, so that that happened, and um, that happened. You know, that happened. We we had, <laughs> I, I'm, you know, we had so many people. I'm trying to remember, but we had a, a lot of the pros on the Elite Tour yeah. are subscribers oh, to yeah. to Bass University. Yes. Uh, everybody sitting in your seat right there talking to me, like, can we, can I get a subscription? I want to, wow. you know, I want to watch this That's stuff. That's awesome. And. Uh, as BTC joins us right now. I love it. You know, so, so we looked at everything that was the latest and greatest in ICAST. We talked about tournaments. We talked about the MLF tour. We talked about Bassmasters yeah. and, uh, you know, just a tremendous amount of stuff. But I, you're the first interviewer, interviewee that was, wore a wig. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's actually my real hair. Make sure it's a wig. <laughs> that we know, yeah, of. That yeah, we know right? of. That, that we, we know, know of. of. Yep. You mean you didn't interview Marsha Fan? No. Oh, okay. Uh, just wondering. You kind of you kind of look like that. <laughs> I do, I do. Why why are you wearing the wig? People want to know. Oh well, the wig. Uh, so so, Becky came up with this concept a few years ago, wearing disguises to get to get us through to the next booth. So mm. rip, with Rapala, we got to get to uh, Missile. With Missile, we got to get to Berkeley. You know, you know, you know, you get stopped, and people want to talk, and I love that. Mm. But you also have to be on time to the next appointment. So come up with this concept of, of wigs and uh, <laughs> disguises. And it's developed over the last few years. And this year, I gotta be honest with you, Pete, we used a different one each day. Uh, we, had, um, we had this look the first day, which was more Afro-like with glasses. Yeah. Did not work. Did not work whatsoever. Terrible. They, they found you? They found me still somehow. <laughs> Yesterday, we had a ZZ Top look, really long beard with sunglasses. Mm. Did not work. And finally today, I had all my money based on this mullet-esque wig, and that did not work today. You're getting too popular. Too popular. So we're going to have to go full mask next year. <laughs> full mask next year, folks. Keep your eye out. ICAST 2020. Full mask. Yeah. Come on. Let's mask. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't need a mask. I can walk seamlessly <laughs> through ICAST. Uh, not, a, not a mention at all. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you ought to wear my mask. Maybe, Maybe I we're, should. We're Pete face. Maybe I should. Be, be able to walk right through the whole thing. Pete's no. not. Now Pete's face. Mossio's <laughs> new camo for next year will be called Pete Glusick. <laughs> 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 you can walk anywhere. Hey, and I'll be recognized. Listen to me. If Dennis TJ could have a shirt on with crawfish, why not a mask with Pete's face on it? <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. It's a new, new brand being launched this week. Um, here's what I'm excited about. This is the first chance I got to be here, but honestly, I feel like this is the best time to be with you guys right here, especially live. We're going to give you an unbiased, non-political, non-set-up best of show. And this is going to be the BU best of show. I'm excited about that, Pete. I, I think There's no politics here. We get because we get a lot of politics, right? right. And, and and ICAST is the industry fishing show for you guys who don't know. And there's saltwater stuff. There's stuff that applies to trout and all different kinds of things. We're we're bass heads, right? We're the Bass University. We're gonna we're picking the lures and the things that we saw that are really gonna help guys catch yeah. fish 
And, and I think are in, going to be impactful in the coming years yes. in bass fishing. Yeah. yeah, stuff that works. Stuff that works. Stuff that works. <laughs> stuff that works. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's 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 hard because you know when you watch the best of show and you see the results, I, I look at it and some of them throw you off because you think how how could that win? But um, you know we're going to give you some some of our opinions and uh, I think this is this is exciting stuff. Yeah. It's fun. There yeah. might not be a duck. Or a spider. Or a spider. <laughs> <laughs> or a bat. <laughs> or a bat. <laughs> was there a bat? That was like two years ago. Oh, my yeah. God. I remember that. It's crazy. Huh? A parakeet. A, par a parakeet. A, a parakeet. There was a parakeet. A parakeet. There, didn't win. There was a shrimp one Shrimps. year. Big shrimp. Yeah, there was shrimp. a parakeet this year. There's a shrimp. Uh, Brian, before we start talking product, give me a little bit of, uh, can, can we hear Brian without a mic? Is that OK? Or we can't? I, I, I want to hear a little. You can, can hear him fine. I want to hear a little bit of your take. Testing, this testing. This is your, what, what is this, your second, third, fourth ICAST in a row? Third or, third or fourth. Third or fourth, okay. Yeah. Give me your opinion overall, this ICAST versus years past. I feel like it was a little bit quieter. A little bit quieter. A little bit quieter. I, I um, agree with that. Yeah. We, you know, I got to see a lot more of it for the first time, got out of the booth and got to walk around, so that was cool. Uh, and we got to go to the new product showcase. Right. Yeah. And it was a good, good thing that we got to see it. I got to see why some of the stuff that gets picked gets picked yeah and who's picking it right you know what i mean like, yeah. uh, okay There's when's the last time you caught a bass a bro <laughs> you know what i mean like okay yeah. that's that's why yeah. so so that was that was good yeah it was good getting getting to see what's what's up with that and you know there might be some changes coming to that i talked uh -huh. to our buddy oh, yeah. about that okay. and um yeah. He said he'd, he'd like to see a certain, you know, section eliminated from the voting. Yeah. So yeah. that it it gets less political and, and things that actually catch fish start right. w start winning. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Right. Speak, well, yeah, speaking yeah. of catching fish, second place at the ICAST Cup. <laughs> Round of applause, everybody. Round of applause for Ryan DeCarpenter. Let's hear it. Everybody. Come on. Second place. Woo -woo. Yeah. Round of applause for Ryan right. DeCarpenter, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Second place. Uh, very exciting time. That's the first time in history Brian actually caught a fish. So, <laughs> no, that was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> what are you just looking? I'm messing with you. I'm not serious. Caught two. Caught, caught two of the fish. Oh. Made two big the ones. Oh, yeah. uh, two, or th video. two or three I of our keepers. So I fished the ICAST Cut with John Cox, yeah. Hunter Shryock. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, you know, we we didn't have to catch anything, and it yeah. would have been would have been perfect. Yeah. So I got to fish in Florida on John Cox's boat. Wow. Which was awesome. Yeah, dude. he's dialed too. Oh, right he's here. so cool. Yeah. So laid back. Yeah. Like over the top laid back. Yeah. Ridiculously laid back. Yeah, I, it's funny. <laughs> we need to get him on uh, on BU Live at home or on Ike Live and talk we're, about that. We're working on it. Because I think that's a part of John's success. Dude, there, there are some anglers that are- Not out. Oh, dude, there are some anglers that are laid back that mm -hmm. can't catch crap. They can't mm -hmm. catch a coal. Yeah. But when, when you're a laid back angler and you don't care about anything, and, and you can catch them. It's a deadly combination, yeah. dude. You never get rattled. Look at John. Look at John Cox. Yeah. It's a deadly combination. He can catch them. You know, he can catch them. But good angle. I don't want to brag, but I I caught the most fish in the boat. <laughs> I'm just saying. I Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm the big on one. that day, I caught the most fish in the boat. Wow, I believe that. I believe that. Um, I want to just Pete get your opinion too, but I want to throw out there: is is this the year of the trolling motor? Uh, yeah. I cast this year, yeah. you know, you, you see themes. And, and a few years ago, it was the year of the kayak. And a, yeah. a year before that, it was the year of apparel, mm -hmm. uh, clothing. Is this the year of the trolling motor at oh I cast? Oh my gosh, yes. Tell me about that. Well, we've got three brand new trolling motors that, that, are, uh, that have been, you know, were showcased here. We've had, uh, now, Minn Kota has ruled the roost, right? Wouldn't right. we agree? Right. Uh, for the last half a decade, you know? And, yeah. and uh, motor guide, ruled for a little while before that but Minn Kota seems to have it yeah. in recent times but man what did we see we saw you feature the uh, Lawrence ghost new yeah. new trolling motor yeah. and um, Garmin Garmin with a brand new one with a brand new motor out and motor guide completely renovated their Revamp. motor revamped it yeah and uh, so we've had three major you know advances in the trolling motor world yeah and everybody's talking about it. Yeah, uh, I, I got to walk past all three displays. They all looked interesting. I think they all had cool features, but Motor Guide had two. And the one Motor Guide, the head <laughs> on the trolling motor was as big as a Fiat. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, if you're watching, 
That may be the trolley motor for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was pushing them off. How do you describe that shape? Dude, was that the a rhombus? It was a rhombus. Wasn't it? I don't know. It, I look, it, it looked like a so Fiat. It had so many angles, man. Yeah, it, it looked like a Fiat. It had a, a hood, a scoop, a top. It had a trunk. It, it, was, it was Jenny from the block of troll motors. <laughs> 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 it was certainly it was it was large and it was unusual, you know. So we we were kind of we were kind of taken back by its appearance, you know. But the one, the part that I I want to get involved in, and uh, you know, you read up all the features, and of course, if you read the features on the motors here, yeah. each each one of those trolling motors is the best. Yeah, you know. So of course, yeah. you know, I, I want to kind of get them out on the water and and, yeah. and see what they're like, you know. It's the only yeah. way to tell. The yeah. Only only way to tell. Only way to tell with a lot of this stuff, not just the troll motors. Is you got to use it. Gotta use you got to get out there and use it. Um, you know, I'm looking at some of the stuff out here that I had a chance to use before it was launched here, but that's the only way to do it. Yeah, man. And that's, that's, do it. that's what I ran into with with your new product showcase. Looking at all these crank baits, swim baits, I'm like, it looks cool. Right. Right. But what if you throw the thing and it just goes like that? Right. Right. So you don't know. You yeah. Gotta, yeah. You got to use it. Yeah, there was gotta, no video. That was just it sat there. You got to use yeah. it. But props off to is it Savage Gear right here next to us? I got to see that trout. And that's a great that's a great thing at ICAST. Some of these boots have little tanks, mm -hmm. and you know proof is in the pudding. That was so that was really that. cool. I saw it. We went yeah. and we yeah. filmed with. That's a really yeah. cool bait. We really cool with, bait. Uh, I like the movement of it. Former yeah. fisherman. Nathan. Yeah. Yeah. He's demonstrated all those. Yeah. So. Very cool. Yeah. But another component of that though, you, you still got to get it out there and make a fish bite it. That's true. You know what I mean? And it can look amazing and do a lot of different cool stuff, but. Yeah. You know, it's got to be about getting strikes, you know, right. and that's what we're going to talk about. But I, what I want to do is now that you're here, uh, I, I, my mind was so blown with all that we did. I just <laughs> wanted to do a re recap with you here, I'm here so that we can talk a little bit. I just want, we're going to do this. We're going to fire through this. Tell yeah. you what we captured. Okay. Tell you guys at home what you can expect on Bash U TV. But, but we had Brandon Palinick. Uh, we, we caught up with him in the Rapala booth and talking about that bait right there. If you get one of you guys can uh, grab that. Yeah. And that's the brand new glide bait of the Storm Arashi glide. That's the one with all the buzz around it. Carl, yep. you know, a lot of guys using it before it was launched with a lot of success. So yep. finally and, here. And, yeah. and you know, he's, te he's teaching us how to use it, um, all, all the intricacies involved in that bait. Uh, we were with John Cruz talking about uh, a lot of things, but mainly about his Ned Bomb, mm. which the Ned, mm -hmm. dude, you know what it is? It's really not the year of the trolling motor. It's the year of the Ned rig. I, I would agree with that. It really a lot is. Of products. Everybody had a Ned bait, a Including new design. My water bug with Berkeley Power Bait, uh, specially yep. designed for a Ned rig or a drop shot. Yep. Come on, let's float. <laughs> 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 it's a floating shape. Yeah, 100% floating shape. We 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 had James Watson. <laughs> we had James Watson talking about spoon jacking and, and and explaining why Chris Zaldane lost all those fish. At the Bassmaster Elite Tournament. <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> I want to know the answer to that. Can you give me a quick answer to that? No stinger hook. No stinger hook. No stinger hook that? on, stinger on, on spoon. the top. On the top. Yeah. No stinger. Free, hook. free swinging or a treble stinger? Because they have the uh, freestyle hooks, which is a single swish shot style <laughs> hook. Ever I know you what you're talking about. Swish shot. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is. I don't. I, he didn't really. He didn't specify. Oh, but I but James has a stinger on his spoon. And he was he was saying that it might have been against bass rules to add a hook, huh. but he he's not sure about that. But that might be explain why he didn't have it. And he but, also has, happens to have a signature series spoon jacking rod. That's right. Which was brand new. The best fish. Wow. Best fish James Watson. Yeah. yeah. With what company? Cashin. Oh, cool. Yeah. With Cashin. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, cool. I'd like to feel that. We. We also had uh, Casey Scanlon, fresh off of his win on Lake Champlain, talking about how to adjust to falling water conditions, right. uh, which is an amazing seminar. He adjusted every single day. Did anyone ask Casey about the flotilla of kayaks that went past his <laughs> boat amazing? during the tournament? That was, was unbelievable. 20? He handled it way better than yeah. I would, if I can yeah. tell you that right now. <laughs> That's a fact. That was amazing. If you guys haven't seen it, it's available somewhere. You got to search. Yeah, go to go to his Instagram or his Facebook account and, and look at that video. Twenty kayaks go by. They hit mm. the front of his boat. Mm. You know, on Lake Champlain. Mm. It's a hundred and something mile long lake, <laughs> and, they were, and they were this close. Yep. I don't understand how. Uh, Fred Rombanis is is got a uh, frog line coming out. Boom boom. Boom boom's Wait, coming no. out. With uh, right here with Cortland. Wow. He's got a frog line coming out with Cortland. Dude, I, real quick, 
we're live, right? Is this yeah. live? <laughs> Shout out to Freddie Boom Boom Robanis for being able to design a bait with five different companies within five years. <laughs> Shout out to Freddie. I saw Freddie Frog, uh, Frog from Snag Proof, one from Stanford, and now one from Cortland. You go, Freddie. <laughs> well, that's a line. That's, that's awesome. Just, that's just a line. Oh, Frog just line. Frog, no. Frog line. Oh. Frog. oh, I thought you made his own. A line of frogs? <laughs> no. A no. line of four frogs. Well, whatever. He's still awesome. Uh, <laughs> we, we had Cody Meyer uh, teaching us about clear water. <laughs> And uh, we had young Patrick Walters. Young Patrick. Yeah. Young. How's your mom and them? How's your mom and them? How's your mom and them? Yeah. Your mom and them? Kurt did you say that to him? Forgot. Oh, Brian! Yeah. <laughs> we just did. Brian. Kurt, Kurt Dove, uh, a Ned rig uh, seminar. Seth Fighter talking about your Tokyo rig. And, talk, and it, here's the deal. Here's the takeaway from that. You can punch a mat with half the weight using a Tokyo rig Ooh. over a Texas rig. Half. Wow. You need one ounces to get through with a Texas rig, yeah. you can get through with a half ounce That's using big. a Tokyo rig. That's big. Yeah. That's huge. Huh. Big deal. I didn't know that. I've nope. been fishing Tokyo rig and I did not know that. Yeah, he says because of the way the weight is and it will grab and pull. Right. As opposed to. It all being one piece. Yeah. Yeah. And kind of with the line, the weight, the bait. But according to, according to Seth and it's, it's like with Fighter, he doesn't think about anything but fishing. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's nothing yeah. else going on in his head. Like, when's my next cigarette? The dart. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Let's go bang a dart. Let's go bang a dart. <laughs> That's it. And, uh, cigarette and fishing. <laughs> Him and Brian Thrift have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they just, they just. I like so it. He says stuff. But, yeah. No, I, be I believe it. And, I and believe it. Zaldane, always amazing. Best teacher ever. And, uh talking about Humminbird 360 mm. and their advancements yeah. that they've made with that system. Cool technology. And, yeah. And how the heck you use it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah and, well, you have all the money in the world and buy it and put it on your boat, but if you don't know how to use it, yeah. it's a different story. You got to yeah. use it. You got to use it to catch fish. Right. It can do yeah. things. And yeah. it, the way he, he, he simplifies it so we all can and learn from that. Here's the deal. I, I mentioned this to you. Matt Airy stroking a jig mm -hmm. like you're supposed to do it. Like yeah. I didn't know that that's the way you were supposed right. to do it. That's awesome. And uh, you guys got to check that out. Um, we had we had Ike. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> we had we had you talking with oh. uh, Brandon. Yeah, um, I did. I in got the to jump booth. in your spot. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. What did what did Brandon uh, teach we us? We got there? Brandon Palmer talking about a football head jig. He designed a jig for mullets. I tell you the one thing about Brandon. Dude, he's the most particular dude I've ever met. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like a lot of these guys, the opportunity to put their name on something, they don't even care, right? They're just like, wow, you know, and it's cool, right? Yeah. You know, they've worked their whole life as first chance. I'll get my name on something. But dude, Brandon's the opposite. Brandon will not let somebody put something out with his name until it's right. He yeah. doesn't care like this. He doesn't yeah, care if it takes five years. That took a decade. Yeah, if it takes three years, whatever it is. <laughs> three years. Um, but we went over the football head jig with Brandon Polnick and, um, the design of that jig, but also how he uses it. Um, and how he works. Thank you. Uh, and it was really, really interesting. Really interesting well, seminar. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, we talked with Aaron Martins and David Swinside about uh, the Duo Realis, and you got one right there. It's a kind of a power spin Power bait. version, heavier. You can fish a, a lot little heavy. deeper. Put with it on it. a bait caster, right? And Aaron is, is kind of came on, the, said something that I had found, likes to burn it likes to reel it fast wow that affords you the opportunity the bigger heavier version you can move it quicker through wow. the water column and do some different things with it very cool yeah aaron's always you talk about meticulous there's there's a guy um that definitely is and um david dudley we had david dudley why, why you don't need to wear underwear <laughs> wow I knew, I knew that but i didn't know why <laughs> a half an hour on, on why underwear is just not really that necessary. wow it's a, uh, it's yeah. a great seminar is that what he told us <laughs> no i don't know i can't remember what he taught us <laughs> sounds like an like live <laughs> seminar though not a bu seminar that he doesn't practice he doesn't they, you know that, that was really interesting we talked Ooh. about practice and it, and practice. how he has eliminated practice completely because it can pre-practice pre-practice pre right going before the event he goes for the official practice only because of getting yourself sidetracked by what you found last week last month doesn't want nothing to do with that right you know and uh, i can relate to that yeah that was that was pretty awesome 
Scott Martin came in for a visit. Scott Martin? He did? Yeah. yeah. Wow. The nice. Scott Martin. Scott nice. came, Scott's got a, uh, with Live Target, he's got a new spoon. It's not a, you know, it's a, it's more along the lines of a Hopkins spoon. A short, a compact. A short, compact. Yeah. Designed, he, he actually worked with them. So not flutter spoons, slab, more slab style. More slab, but sort of flutter. Okay. You know, it's just kind of a smaller, yeah, similar to a Hopkins, but a little bit different. But he designed it for uh, Lake Hamilton, uh, ex anticipating schooling fish, and they're schooling on little bait, or little bait, right. at Lake Hamilton. Okay. So he's got a smaller size spoon that, huh. that he showed. Right. Summer schoolers. Yeah. Yes. That uh, he came and talked to us about. I got a lot of people that we tried to get to, I see on this list, BDC, that, man, we just didn't get to them. But, uh, I mean, there's just so Jared many Lindner. notables. Yeah. Jared Lidner, we talked about catching giant bass, how to target. He, he had some big glide baits and big rats. I mean, rats half as big as yeah. this table. Got to see some big rats. Mullix uh, with a soft rat wake bait introduction yeah. this year. That's, really cool. That's the really, wake. really cool. Ooh. There's something about that yeah. big fish that, that yeah. triggers the bite. Drives nuts. Dude, here's another similarity. We, we Zaldane told us about this and the importance of fishing uphill oh, dude, I've with heard your that. swim baits. Yes. I've heard that from Chris so many times, and yeah. it's so true. It, is. it really is. And yeah. Littner yeah. echoed that sentiment. He said, to truly get the big ones, you got to fish uphill. uphill. And he said, and he said if the like, they'd fish tournaments, and yeah. they'd catch nine-pounders, the lunker in the tournament. Yeah. And they'd talk to the bank anglers. They'd have 12s and 13s. Wow. You know, fishing, fishing that yeah. uphill scenario. Yeah. And I've seen that a lot. I, I'm a big, uh, I, I oogle content on social media. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the Japanese anglers post video of catching big ones in Japan on swim baits. And you always notice their boat is like almost on the bank, on the bank. and yeah. they're casting out. Yeah. yeah. It's very, very, very interesting, you know? Yep. Very interesting. That, yeah. that, that is super interesting. And, uh, we had just so many good things Brian that Latimer. that are happening. We had B-Lat over here. Yeah, B-Lat? We, we had B-Lat talking about Z-Man products and, you know, how to rig those. Because they're kind of, you know, different. They're different than soft plastics, but he... The Elastech stuff. The Elastech. Yeah. They've got holes cut in it for rigging, and he, he showed how to manipulate it to get it on their keepers better and how right. everything's designed mm. specifically for that bait. Yeah. And how to keep it, you know, because they can interact with other plastics. Right. You know? And as I look here on the phone, I see a, a, an Ike Live shot with me scoring some Captain Morgans. <laughs> <laughs> Back. Back. You got my uh, phone, don't you? <laughs> you got my phone? Who, uh, is there anybody I'm missing, BTC? Yeah, Garrett Paquette came in and told us how oh. he's going to win the next event. That's right. And, calling uh, a shot. Calling a shot. Dave Williams. Dave Williams. Yep. Talking about the simplicity of rod selection. Yep. Yeah. Good uh, stuff. Yes. Anybody? I use what you need, boss? Rod. I'm looking for my phone real quick. So we had we had a pile, guys, and we're going to be uh, getting all this content to you. We're going to be, you know, once we get it all edited, we're going to be releasing this every week at Bash University. And it's a, some tremendous stuff where we're showing you guys new products and the best guys in the world, as always here at Bash U, are going to be are teaching us, giving us some lessons. I promise you, there are some serious blow your hair back moments. <laughs> just, just, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> But I'm looking, I think, uh, you know, I think this would be a good time for us to do Let's it, guys. Do it. We're going to be picking the best in show. We got Justin Kimmel has sat in with us. Justin. Uh, program manager here at Bash University, BTC. And, of course, Ike. Anybody want to go first? You want me to go first? Oh, uh, uh, Justin. Let's, Justin first. Let's let, let's let Pete save it because he's probably got a long-winded story on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <clears throat> I, I'm obsessed with watching videos, <laughs> watching, I could watch a glide bait in a tank with no Ooh. fish biting it all day. Props to Storm, but um, I'm, I'm going to uh, talk about how John Cruz got carried away with all the new colors on this Ned Bomb. Yeah. Ned Bomb, Ned um, Bomb, Johnny Cruz muscle baits, new colors. I love contrast. I love two colors, not necessarily always fused together, but yeah. like, like a Cinco with like a level of all the laminate ones where yeah. there's a color on top yeah. and a color on bottom. I think contrast is important. I think a lot of bait fish's tails contrast against yeah. against their body. And I think John tapped into that like 
never before props to John Cruz for giving the world this to catch a ton of fish. Yeah, I, I think you, that John. deserves it. John Cruz, Missile Baits. Missile Baits, Ned uh, Bomb. I do want to throw this in here and peek at your opinion on it. Um, Brian, chime in on this. Dude, I love this because at ICAST over the years, I've seen the old become new again. The old become new. Dude, here's a resurgence of fire tails, dude. Yeah, fire that's right. Fire tails. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. And what else? And, and, and ribs? The stingray. The stingray grub. Yeah, man stingray grub. Uh, fire tails. I love it. You know, it worked back in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. It's working again now, you know. Yeah. A little bit tweaked, a little bit different rigging I, I love it. I think I think the it's reintroduction of fire tails is great. The, what, and what, the way you're rigging that out, that looks like the Mike Long rig. Except in, in multiple colors. There we go. <laughs> Actually, that might have been better than white. <laughs> All right. Is, who's is next? that a like, live comment? All right. <laughs> Wrong yeah, show. Who's next? <laughs> Brian Carpenter. So for me, I looked at everything, and again, like I said, I had trouble. How can I pick a crankbait without throwing it? Mm. You know what I mean? Unless, unless I have gotten the opportunity to throw it. And I did get the opportunity to throw this. A couple times, I yes. borrowed yours, and you, you quickly took it back. <laughs> and um, and it, it is amazing. Plus, we got to see Carl using it. Yeah. And and I, this bait works. Yeah. And it's what is it? Price point about thirty something bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Know, right for, there. for a glide bait, you know, they able to bring that down from a hundred, two hundred dollars. That's incredible. To a glide yeah. bait, people can afford. Yep. It definitely works. Yeah. It's proven. Yep. Here you have so for me. Storm Arashi glide Storm bait. Storm One in our thing top on that too. Yeah. I'm just going to say this as a fish head in the industry who who is listening, and I have no sponsor affiliations really, but there's, we're talking to some people, there there are some big swim baits that are being rushed to the market right now. Brandon's been working on that for three to four years. Yeah. You've already said time. what you've said about Brandon. Yeah. There is a lot of work into that swim bait. A lot. And I mean, Carl Jacobson's proving yeah. it to yeah. everybody. I'll, I'll throw something in here real quick. Um, I did get a chance to uh, corner Carl. Uh, this week at the Mollux booth, Ooh. some of those conversations you have when you you get a guy one on one, you pick stuff up. Oh, good I, I love it. <laughs> and he said something real interesting. You know, it, a trend right now with swim baits is to put a visible patch on that swim bait somewhere. You see the Japanese putting a piece of tape or a bright color so they can track it from a far way off. They can see it. Carl said he's like, no mate. You know, he doesn't do that. He doesn't want to see it. And he started talking about his, his typical cast with this is a long cast where he's purposely not looking at the bait. Yeah. And his whole retrieve back, instead of that steady whine, steady whine until you see the fish, his whole retrieve, he pretends there's a fish behind it right from when the bait hits the water. Mm -hmm. So the whole cast, he's reeling, pausing, giving, reeling, pausing, get, you know, the whole time back. Mm. But it, was, it reminded me of uh, David Fritz. You know where he back in the day when he didn't he didn't want to feel that plug, right? Yeah. He laid it on his rod. He sat down. He never looked at his bait. He spit tobacco. Whatever he was doing, it reminded me of that same theory. And it was interesting. I, and I heard that one on one from Carl. It was great. You can you can actually see that on go. Bass University TV where he demonstrates his technique for fishing that exact yeah. bait, the prototype. 360 Coming rotation. Soon. 360 yes. rotation. And Come and a month. Yeah. It'll be available in a month. And, yeah. the, hook and the hook rotation is key. They put a swivel, they put a barrel swivel there so that the fish can't leverage that bait. Because that's one of the big problems with big swim baits. Yeah. Fish get off. Yeah. And with that rotating uh, scenario, they just can't get off as much. They're trying to kick us out of here, but we're not leaving. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> God? Jesus. <laughs> Father? Uh, all right, I'm, I'm going to go, if that's okay. Um, and I unfortunately didn't get a big scope of the show, honestly. I saw little bits and pieces. And I saw a lot of really cool stuff, uh, both sponsor-related and non-sponsor-related. The, the trolling motor, I really wanted to talk about, but I thought, you know, that's a big ticket item. What, what's the second biggest thing that I think is going to be a game changer? And I'm, not, I'm, I'm jaded, but I, I got to say it, and I brought it here. And it's the bladed hybrid treble from VMC. Dude, the reason I love this thing, and I've talked about it my whole first day here, is how easy it is to add a little bit of flash, to add a little bit of flash to, to your bait, to a jerk bait, a spy bait, a top water, a blade bait, a through line. Anything, dude, mm -hmm. adding a little bit of flash, a little bit of vibration. 
a spy bait. And uh, I think this is a game changer without spending a lot of money. Yep. What was You're it? talking about game changer. Game changer. <laughs> You're talking about- The year of the game changer. <laughs> You're talking about a, a, a pack of hooks that cost about three bucks where you can totally upgrade and change the look of your bait without buying a new bait. This is my pick. I and mean, it, and yeah. it happened to win Best of Show for real. Yeah, for real. Yeah, they got that one right, yeah, I think. BMC yeah, that. that's a good job. Best of show. Well done. Yeah. I would love that. I, I fished one of the um, Costa Championships, and I, the fish were jumping over my top water. Right. I missed a dozen fish, and I could not figure yeah. how to trigger those fish to connect with the bait. Yeah. This would have been a great yeah. adjustment and, to see if I could get those I fish wanna, to connect. I want to tell you, in, in uh, testing this, when they started sending them, the interesting thing about this, Pete, is that does not affect the action of the bait whatsoever. From the deepest diving crankbaits to a topwater, doesn't affect the action of the bait, and it works just as good on the belly of a bait as it does mm. on the tail of a bait. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, Very interesting. Yes. Good pick. Are Excellent you, pick. I got, I got a question. Because oh. you've tested this. Yes. Are you doing just the belly and no tail for that hook ever so, to make them kind of key in on it? I, I have tested it all three ways. I've tested the bladed treble and the tail. A um, little bit of weight there. So it's interesting on, on top waters that you want to put tail down a little bit. It helps you with that. Yeah. I've tested them on the belly, a belly on crankbaits on a DT6, a DT10. Really cool because you never see flash right. like that. Um, and I've also tested them with two on a jerkbait, on a, on a two hook jerkbait, a flash on the tail and a flash on the belly. And again, it's just a little bit more weight, just a little bit. So you can actually get a true suspending bait to sink a little bit. And yeah. dude, think about the extra flash. I know how, yeah. you know, we're both into that. Yeah. Tweaking it. Flashing. Like this, like uh -huh. that, a little like this, a little. You got me. And this, this is going to help you do that. Tweakers. Tweakers. All right. Pete, Pete last but not least. Well, I, I tell you, you know, there's, I got all the guys, the ones you talked about in, in, uh, your honorable mentions. Z-Man came out with a Mega Ned rig, which we didn't hear mention. I like the Mega Ned, like JT Kenny. Yes. Oh, but, wow. but this is six inches. Oh. Sorry. This is a six inch one. Like a six inch. Big a giant one. Sinko. Yep. Wow. We've got uh, Rage uh, striking as a, a Ned Rage bug, which is pretty cool. They have a, uh, a bait from uh, 13. 13 Fishing, the Pathfinder. It's like the old man's ghost. Yeah. You know, walk the dog bait for matted vegetation. Yeah. They got a hollow they, body. They, it's a hollow body in the rear. Hard in the front. Wow. Pretty neat deal dual to fish. Dual density. Dual uh, density. I saw a cool buzz bait, uh, a nice lipless bait that's really, really big. Oh, that looks nice. From uh, Tight Lines UV Lure Company, wow. the Raptor crankbait. Huh. That big, giant lipless, which is, which can be so good. Of course, Duo the, has a the Arashi uh, glide bait. Duo is one of, one of my picks, kind of a magnum spin bait. Uh, and, and I have a picture of the really cool swimming pool at the hotel we stayed at, <laughs> but I don't know why that's there. The, uh, <laughs> but, uh, we had an interview with uh, Justin Captain Jones. Justin Jones from Lake Okeechobee, and this, this, is, this is how it comes to my pick. He saw, he's a Bass University subscriber, saw a seminar from Randall Tharp about the importance of being silent in your flipping when you're in that round that how fish get educated to the braid how it's cutting through the grass going through the lines it's of your noise. rod it's got, noise. It's, got yeah. it's got a lot of noise and he is it was connected with these folks over here at Cortland Cortland's been building fishing line forever yeah uh, in the fly fishing world and the saltwater world and uh, he he got them interested in this and they came up with a line called silent flip and it's a 16 strand braid <sighs> which is, mm. uh, they're claiming 30% quieter than, than all the other braids. Right. Hollow core. It's actually, well, it's actually not. It's a solid oh, line solid because line. they're 16 strands. It, they, it's a solid line. It's not heated. It's oh. not stretched like a lot of other lines are. And it's, they're able to achieve a lot of silence. Wow. With that, with this line. So, uh, that's so awesome. this it, it, normal braid line that we flip with is what? 
six to ten six, strands. Six or lower, yeah. Okay. Okay. Usually six, six eight, yeah, right. something like six that. Yeah, and this is sixteen. This is sixteen strands. There's there's a twelve strand is the only other line that I've seen that had that many. Right. So this is this is well you know well above that. But to be able to achieve that quietness when you're flipping in the mats. Anytime you're dealing with it, you know, to eliminate that, yeah. uh, I think that's a very unique feature that is going to help people catch right. fish so this pressure is your situation. Pick. This is my pick. There you go. Best in show. Pete's pick. Pete's not. <laughs> Pete's mask. <laughs> the list goes on and on. Uh, Pete's meat. Pete's meat. <laughs> Pete's meat. <laughs> uh, man, this is exciting. Again, I, I want everybody watching. I hope you understand. This, these are, you know, unbiased, unpolitically affected opinions. Uh, so I, I, I think these are more important than the actual best of show no, winners. 100% more important. 100% so, more important. So, <laughs> do you have it? If you saw the people that were voting on this, <laughs> can you describe them? Nerds. 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 No offense. The look I had My the mask the first day. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. These guys okay. Have not caught a pass in wow. 20 years. Wow. It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Well, there you so, have it. Oh, I got a. I got a. I got a. Uh, an honorable mention. Honorable mention, yeah, folks. So Tuesday when I when I fished the ICAST Cup with John Cox, we did a little bit of wobbleheading and also chatterbait. Well, Z-Man's got a new uh, chatterbait out in conjunction with Freedom uh, Freedom Tag. Yep. So it's a chatterbait with a round football wobblehead on it, or a round football head, and a free swinging hook on it. That's kind of cool. So it's set up to be like three quarter ounce, get down and grind. Grind on. around. On rock yeah. and stuff like that. Get it yeah. Around. It just makes a lot of sense. And again, it's got a great keeper on the back. You can change the yep. hook out on that because it's got the freedom tackle yeah. set. Oh yeah, look at that. So to Pretty me it's cool. it's a bait that is, is gonna huh. have an application. Three eighths. And that's key. Huh. But they go up to three quarter and, right. and bigger. What size wobble head you throw at Toho? Half. Half. Okay. Yeah. So heavier yeah. than that. But the current was ripping. Right. And yeah, right. Mm. And, and then they go, and you set the hook. Wow, great. And honorable mention for cash and rods with, rod. with, uh, rod. with uh, Watson, with a spoon jacking rod. Spoon jacking yep. rod. Custom yep. spoon jacking rod. Uh, it was really cool to listen to him talk about that technique. Uh, yep. It's a really fun way to fish. Did you ever get to see Zaldane last 10 minutes? Of his tournament on the Bassmasters? No. He had oh, the spoon, the spoon yeah. fest. Yeah. Oh, I did see it. It was yeah. amazing. He I did had, watch it. He, he had that tournament one and, yeah. and couldn't get him in. And he, well, I think but, he caught two or three and missed two or three. Yeah. yeah. And he had ten pounds. Yeah. With fifteen minutes left. Yeah. And almost, almost stole it. Wow. That was insane. Yeah, that That's was insane. amazing. I also want to, uh, real quick, give my honorable mention again to another product I'm affiliated with. It's the Ike Series Travel Rod, available in spinning. <laughs> and casting. Of course, it comes in an ABS plastic hard case, shoulder strap, and it is a three-piece rod with two tip options to let you change on the fly. Spinning rod has a medium and a medium light tip. Casting rod has a medium and medium heavy tip. Available right now, no big weight, right now from Tackle Warehouse, $149.99. I'm in. Nice. Oh. I didn't get that for years. <laughs> also got an honorable mention to our boy Hollywood here. Hollywood! Hey. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's going on, guys? <laughs> Glad to be here. Hollywood brought us donuts. Yeah, Woo I bring the Donut King every year. Just showing the love when the guys come in town. That's all. Woo -woo. And great, great testimonial. Bash University subscriber. Making his moves up the tournament trail. We look forward to great things from you, buddy. I love it. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Uh, do you, you have any real quick before we sign out? Next BU Live, you know what it is? Next Ike Live, I can tell you. you yeah, when's the next Ike Live? All right, everybody watching, if you want to go over this coming Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, which is Wednesday the 17th, 17th 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time, the Ike Live ICAST special, with a special phone in and Skype guest from some of the big winners here this week. Outstanding. Yeah. Oh, Outstanding. The Ike Cast special. Ike Cast special. Yeah, maybe that's what we should call it. <laughs> Ike, Ike Cast. When we premiere it. Also, we got here uh, a wonderful uh, Becky, beautiful Becky with her amazing necklace, doing work this week. And Sir Charles in the back doing work this week. Good job, guys. Good, yeah, boss. Good job, guys. Good, Good hustle. Good hustle, work, guys. Work, work, yes. Work. All right, Pete, I think that's it. Want to say goodbye to everybody? Yeah. Oh, Jeff. shout out to Jeff. Jeff, yeah. come over here. Come on, take them earphones off. Come over selfie. here. Here it goes. This is a selfie. Here it goes. This is, this is the most. Oh, no, this is so working.
it it's, still works. Yeah. Back here. No, no who's, sure. who's driving? I don't know who's driving. This, <laughs> this is the most important guy this whole week. The guy behind the camera. Yeah. Shout out to Big Jeff. There you go. We got a new camera guy that popped in right here. Oh, this guy. oh my gosh. There you go. Camera guy, how are we doing? He's the guy with the mullet. I don't know. Where's he at? Where is he? Oh, Sam. All right, so no better way to go out, keep it rolling, than uh, Brian and I decided we're going to do a slip and slide right here behind us. All right, you ready? Just take the mic off. Are you You want to do it? <laughs> All right, let's not do it. <laughs> Chickens. Well, in my 20s, yeah, I would have did it, but I'll check it out. I would have done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did uh, it. Uh, hope everybody has a good one, Pete. Great hey, show. Hey, thanks everybody for watching. Look forward to amazing stuff coming for Bass University TV. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, by the way. It's the frog days of summer Yes. right now. Promotion. We got a great deal going on. If you haven't joined, we're giving away a $50 gift pack featuring two Terminator frogs, Flambeau tackle box, one of Mike's Ike Quotient tackle box, a lot of great stuff. So come on over, join the party, join us at Bass U. And thanks for watching, guys. I'm Pete Kluzak, and this is the whole crew, Bass University TV. Bye. Bye, everybody. Love you.